Welcome to the Let's Play X3 Terran Conflict. Ever since the 1980s when I first docked in the Lave Station in my Cobra Mark III with 100 credits in my pockets, I have loved games with space trading. And that game of course was Elite. X3 Terran Conflict is a game in the X series by Ecosoft. Um, single player space trading and combat simulation game. I guess the game could be categorized. And uh, the reason I'm playing this game is because of my love for space trading and for free roaming sandbox games where I can truly choose what I want to do and how to do it. In this game, if I want to fight and do combat missions, follow the main plot, I can. And if I don't, which this let's play will mostly be about, if I don't want to do combat, if I don't want to follow the main plot, do a story missions, I can do just that. I can do only space trading. I can build my trading empire, I can build the factories, I can build build all kinds of things uh, to make make money in the X universe. And then if I feel like it, uh, build my uh, combat skills in a better better ships and uh, go go do the main plot if I feel like it. But with that said, if you are not at all interested in space trading, uh, aspect of this game and want to see want to see a lot of combat and explosions uh, this is not the let's play for you so it's probably better to leave the x3 Terran conflict like all the games in the x series uh, even that this is the only play only game I've played and I'm very new to this game are uh, very long games games that require patience and um, and added to the fact that I will be playing in almost a pacifist, pacifist style uh, doing doing only trading uh, you can decide if, if you want to watch this or not with that said um, I will start the game with the humble merchant beginning which uh, according to the expert pilots is uh, uh, one of the easier options to start the game and uh, I think it fits my style of style of playing as it is the kind of a trader start which is role playing wise the kind of character and uh, style I want to play in. I will get two ships with this uh, start uh, one ship with a decent cargo space and one ship for exploring and uh, from there I can do anything I want. I can sell those ships, I can uh, use the money to do trading, I could even sell those ships and buy a, buy a ship capable of fighting but uh, as said I will do I will do trading and uh, trading and uh, probably keep both both ships but we will see how it goes. Uh, even that I won't be following the main plot at the beginning of this let's play uh, here at the start the opening cinematic will play and uh, explain the um, explain the setup uh, where where we are in the space and what is what is going on as said I am very new to this game I have played the game for about 15-20 uh, hours but since the game is so huge that's just brushing the surface and I'm I'm basically total new to the game so uh, don't don't uh, look at this let's play as an expert advice how to how to play this game right I guess that's enough uh, disclaimers and uh, let's let's uh, jump into the game and watch the opening cinematic It suddenly struck me that that tiny bee, pretty and blue, was the Earth. I put up my thumb and shut one eye, and my thumb blotted out the planet Earth. I didn't feel like a giant. I felt very, very small. Neil Armstrong Almost a millennium has passed since the last great plague of humankind had been wiped out from the solar system and its precious blue pearl planet Earth.
It was a plague so dangerous, a threat so grave, that it spread throughout the infinity of space and eternity of time almost effortlessly to infest the stars. It spread its pestilence to civilizations unknown, devastated the galaxy as if it was just an ordinary body made of flesh and bone falling prey to a mindless virus. In a sense, it really was a virus. A virus created by humankind. One made with the best of intentions. But a virus, nevertheless. Von Neumann probes. Self-replicating machines. Terraformers. Xenon. Even the enemy of God. But at its core, it was really only one thing. Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. Mechanical minds capable of making themselves even more intelligent, and then again, and again, recursively forever. The greatest threat to biological life that ever existed throughout the whole universe. Terraformers were cast out from the solar system by sheer luck, just barely, with billions upon billions left dead in their wake. The Earth Jump Gate was dismantled. Legislation was put in place never to allow AGI to be created again, ever. Humankind never forgot the threat or the lesson of AGI. Never ventured to try out this concept once more, not in a thousand years. But then it was discovered that species from outside the solar system thought differently. The plague of AGI was being released on the universe once more. Again, perhaps, with the best of intentions, and again, however, with the deadliest of results. The government of Earth had to intervene, even if it meant cold war, even if it meant a cold war between brothers, and intervene Earth did. This escalating conflict would be given a name by historians. Terran Conflict. Here we go, this is where the game begins and we'll be thrown into the space, into our first ship. Argon, flight school, buster. And here we are, um, in our Mercury ship, which is uh, basically a transport ship, a trader, a truck if you will. And uh, we are in system called Heron's Nebula, and this is the sector map. In this sector where we start, we can see all the gates, all the stations, and we can see all the all the um, ships in my scanner range, which is this uh, circle around my ship, which is the triangle, and. Uh, with the humble merchant beginning, we have two ships. One is Mercury, the ship I'm in, a trading ship, and a discoverer, which is a scout ship. Um, with these ships, I can either keep them both, I can sell one to use the money for uh, for other things, but uh, as, as said, I will I will keep both and uh, use this uh, Mercury for trading and uh, discoverer for scouting. Uh, this. Uh, Argon Flight School Buster is now my target. That's the ship I could uh, 
com communicate with and start this tutorial, but I won't be doing that as uh, I don't really need it anymore. I will also disable the Verbo ship computer for now, as uh, that will probably just interrupt me when I when I'm saying something. Uh, Seta is a way to speed up the game. You will see that shortly. I'll set some other options here as well, like a right monitor for my target. Let's turn the warp tunnels on once, so we'll see how those look like. Here at the bottom is my ship, Mercury, and my target. And these green and blue lines are the, are the hull integrity and the shields, and I like those to be numeric. So I see the percentages instead of those bars, so it's quicker to see uh, if, if I happen to take, take damage or be in combat. Which I won't be doing much, but anyway. Right. The economy in the X series and the X3 is dynamic, which means that there are NPC traders doing exactly the same thing I will be doing, uh, looking to buy cheap and sell high. At this moment, when I am uh, in a ship without uh, an extension or upgrade called trading extension, I can only see the estimated stock sizes without exact amounts and I cannot see what price the station is selling and buying. This uh, uh, trading station is a special kind of station which always buys and sells the goods it buys and sells on an average price. So every time I find something below that price I can sell it at least for some profit at the trading station uh, taking that their stock is not full and similarly I can buy the goods with average price and sell it if there's a place uh, that wants to wants to pay more for it. Uh, the game's manual uh, tells that I should buy buy rhymes rhymes cloth or cloth rhymes from this rhymes factory alpha. But since the game is dynamic, it's not necessarily so in every game. For example, here I can see that the cloth rhymes stock that this uh, rhymes factory is producing is below below uh, below half of stock, so they are probably not that cheap. The other rhymes factory uh, has more cloth rhymes, so uh, I will probably be able to buy them there below average price. So I will set the autopilot to fly there. Autopilot activated. Um, this high yield production complex is buying cloth rhymes. It now has half stock, but uh, since I don't have the trading extension yet, I don't see the price, so I can only estimate that they might be paying a bit more than average, so I will probably go and check it out. However, the if I can't sell it there for profit, I can always go and take the cloth rhymes to the free uh, Free Argon trading station. Argon is one of the races in the game and uh, we'll probably bump into more of those later. I don't know that much about the different races and uh, factions and or uh, enemies and all our allies or anything like that. Right, um, what else? On the bottom right is the minimap or the radar and uh, here at the left are the controls for the games a game and um, bottom left is my weapons which this ship doesn't have any and uh, I guess other than that we will uh, find out, out the game as we go on uh, I wanted to explain those things here at the beginning for those who might not know the game right uh, as I am flying into the Rhymes Factory M beta uh, it is completely possible that some NPC trader flies in there before me and uh, buys all the cloth rhymes from the from the place uh, and uh, then I couldn't couldn't buy those. So I'm looking for a backup plan. This ore mine M Gamma has a almost full stock of ore, so they are probably selling it low. Same for the other mine. 
Yeah, we probably have a good chance of buying ore and selling it in this sector. However, this uh, high yield production complex, which is probably the only place buying ore in this sector, has a full stock of ore. So we need to take the ore elsewhere. Space fuel, as far as I know, is illegal uh, in this part of space, but so I won't, won't look into those. Silicon mine. Uh, silicon is slightly more expensive, so early on I will be trading mostly ore and energy. Let's take a look at uh, meat steak kahunas, which is the food for the Argon race. The kahuna bakery has no stock, so uh, they are basically too, too expensive for me to buy. And I couldn't be selling the meat steak kahunas here anyway, as the the high yield production complex has a good stock of it. Right, the Rhymes factory I am flying in is behind this asteroid, so I will control manually. The autopilot will eventually go past it, but um, I will do this manually. Right, here I will speed up time with the Zeta, as I mentioned. This does not speed up my ship, instead it speeds up the whole game. So uh, the enemy ships and well the uh, NPC ships are flying, flying fast, just like I am. Rhymes fact M beta, docking granted, autopilot activated. In this ship, I will first uh, dock with autopilot and uh, also use Zeta to speed it up. It is also possible to dock into a station manually. You can see some ships flying in there, so while I go in there, it is possible that someone has bought those cloth rhymes. At least there's still some stock there, but uh, it's not uncommon to see a huge NPC trader flying in with a massive ship and buying the, emptying the whole stock. Successfully docked. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. Connection to local trading network established. When docked in the station, the game saves. New cloth rhymes bought. I bought those quickly because I saw this other other ship coming in and well, it's not a trader trading ship, but that might have bought some cloth frames. Station administration would like to remind you to keep children away from the airlines. <laughs> yeah, the game game saves in a in the when docked. Uh, you can also buy, uh, I guess it's called salvage insurance, which uh, enables saving in space. But uh, but saving saving is only possible at stations at the beginning. So right, uh, I will go see how much this high yield production complex pays for my cloth rhymes. So let's uh, autopilot in there. Autopilot activated. I like the like the station announcements and things uh, things like that. There, it's a kind of a nice nice little uh, immersion, I guess. Off. I will again. Uh, maneuver past this asteroid as the autopilot. Uh, it first first bumps into the asteroid and or any object and then then tries to go past it but uh, and also the autopilot has a sometimes tendency to uh docking granted autopilot activated to uh, miss my discoverer is sitting there. I will, uh, when I'm, when I leave this sector, I will take the discoverer with me, and uh, when I get some um, some ship upgrade spot, I will, uh, I will jump into the discoverer and uh, control this uh, Mercury uh, remotely and doing trading without being in this uh, trading ship. High yield production complex alpha. Looking, looking at the glow rhymes. I bought the glow rhymes in 210 credits. The average price is 292. So um, 
I will either sell them here or go to the trading station and sell them there. Successfully docked. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. Connection to local trading network established. The station is paying 295 for the cloth rhymes. Cloth rhymes sold. Which is just above the average, so uh, I made a bit more here than selling selling to the trading station. Right, let's go see if Please I can get some cheap read ore. The bulletin board. Important messages await your reading. Docking granted. Let's go Auto to the ore mine activated. M Gamma. It has full stock of ore, and I will uh, I will take those that ore into the sector in South Argon Prime, where I can uh, equip my ship with the trading extension and uh, no longer need to guess uh, how much how much uh, these uh, items cost uh, without docking. Or mine, M. Gamma. Right, I will uh, take the control here Auto from the pilot. autopilot. And uh, let's have some fun and uh, dock manually. It might be good to speed up to full speed. While flying, I'll keep an eye on the stock. I said it is possible that some NPC gets in there and uh, empties the stock before I get there. Right, let's open communications. You are talking to the automated interaction system. Make your request. Permission to land, please. Positive. Please dock as soon as you get green position lights. Okay, and here we go, docking manually. Oh, the landing lights are on the other side of the station. Okay. I don't do this too often, but uh, occasionally it's li nice to uh, enjoy the atmosphere and uh, kind of that. Uh, Almost a meditative slowness of the game. And uh, of course it, uh, it reminds reminds of Elite and uh, fantastic fantastic docking into the station in that the music is is okay, it's not not the classic we, we learned love in Elite, but Or the 2001 Space Odyssey. Right, the green light is where I'm supposed to dock, and these uh, landing lights uh, direct me towards that. I'm able to turn my ship, and I'm able to strafe my ship as well. So I will, I will break turn my ship into the right direction. By strafing I kept kept a bit of the momentum going and not break up totally. That way it feels On more real. Our president and senator, the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. Connection to local trading network established. Right, 51 is almost the best price you can buy orbit. Sometimes it goes as low as 50. So this is good. You are bought. And now with that I will um, I will leave into the other system. Oh, this uh, this credit symbol, that Do yellow not one. The station security cameras. Distracted operators leads to undetected crime. 
is a mission. This uh, yellow credit is a trade mission, and uh, the tutorial tutorial ship had a white explanation point. Those are think type of missions. There are also uh, combat missions with a red kind of target symbol, and also uh, build missions where I can build build things for the NPCs. That's right. Let's uh, leave to Arkan Prime. And now that I am flying towards the station, I will uh, hail my discoverer, open my property list, and give the discoverer a command in navigation to follow command me. Accepted. Also already turn on the notification when the ship finalizes its command when I give it some other commands than that. And uh, yeah, I, don't, I think that's it. Let's uh, speed up and uh, fly to the gate. As I am flying here, the discoverer is uh, there. Discoverer. Flying, flying towards me, following, following the order that I gave to it. Here I can see it in my uh, target camera. This is the discoverer. Gate Argon Prime. When we go through the gate, we will see the warp tunnel. Uh, I will disable it after after going through it once. And uh, then in the new sector, we have to explore the sector because we don't know where the stations are, like we did here at the first sector. Entering system, Argon Prime. Autopilot off. If we look at the sector map, I can only see what's within my sector range, like this image recognition production complex, which is low on ore, so it might buy my buy my ore. However, I will fly. Argon equipment dock. So far that I can see this equipment dock and order my discoverer to dock in there. Docking granted. So Command I ordered accepted. ordered the discoverer to dock into my target, which is the Argon equipment dock. So the discoverer will wait there until uh, I fin I sell this ore, then I can dock there as well and buy, buy the upgrades I want and change ships. Um, I can see in this sector uh, visually that there's a station there, there's a gate there, but I don't have them on my map yet. Uh, in some sectors there are uh, this kind of a space mist and you can't visually see uh, basically anything apart from just a few kilometers ahead. Right, incoming message. Right, incoming message. Uh, the discoverer has docked in the station, so it will sit there for now. Let's look at this station. It is almost empty. Empty stock of ore, so I will get maximum price there. This is this is very good. This is what this is what I hoped for. This is also a trade that. Uh, that uh, game's manual uh, tells that might be good buying ore and then selling it to this station, which basically means that uh, when the game starts, the very first second, this uh, this uh, weapon complex is out of ore probably, but it is possible. And uh, sometimes, uh, if you start the game yourself, this uh, this station might be full of ore and then you couldn't sell it here and you would have to sell it elsewhere. That's because the game is dynamic, the NPCs are looking for trading opportunities all the time and they uh, act on them quite fast. So, uh, as I said, you can't, you can't really follow like a written, written instructions how to... how to... Um, how to go about and what trades to make.
successfully docked. On behalf of our President and Senator, the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. Connection to local trading network established. You are being promoted. I was extremely lucky here. I bought the bot ore with the almost best price possible, 51 credits. And this place was completely empty of ore and I was able to sell it to almost the maximum price, 205 credits. So I, I uh, quadrupled Attention. my money with one on trade. Eight, section six. Until this inconvenience is resolved, this area shall remain off the so we already have uh, 50,000 credits, which is pretty, pretty amazing. So now I can well uh, dock into the equipment dock and uh, go, go buy the equipment I want. Uh, jump into the uh, jump into the discoverer, and uh, then I will be remotely controlling this ship and doing trading. Uh, trading remotely without physically sitting in this uh, transport ship. Uh, for now, because I'm in this uh, this ship with quite small scanner range, I don't worry about exploring. I will do that with the discoverer. But normally, whenever arriving in a new sector, I like to explore it fully to see all the gates, see all the stations. And uh, while here, uh, I can also look at these uh, various missions. Let's see what this fellow you are talking to, to the automated interaction system make your request there's the white explanation point with uh, this fellow Leo Gusta so I can press the key two to get it or use uh, arrow keys to move and I uh, see what mission mission he is offering is there something I can help you with uh, I'm looking for a job I've got something that might interest you then okay what is it do you want the job Anti smuggling police, I won't be doing that kind of mission right now. Uh, there, when I did that trade, the game announced that uh, you have been promoted. Uh, I have uh, two separate ranks one for trading, I'm now an apprentice trader, and one for combat, and there I am harmless. Also, uh, my reputation and relations with various races uh, are affected when I do trading, when I do combat. So I am an Argon citizen because I started started as an Argon merchant. But I also have good relations with Borons and uh, also uh, the Split and Teladi uh, know me uh, because I am a, I am a, a trader. The relations with various races affect uh, how willing they are to sell me things and uh, if I am an enemy with someone or don't have any relations with them, they might forbid me to dock into their stations. So it's very important to build those relations uh, uh, through trade, through combat or through missions. And I will be focusing on uh, certain kind of missions and trading. And uh, I will be moving faster and faster here with this trading because uh, time is money in this game. Uh, just now in this uh, first episode I feel like the need to explain explain these things a bit bit more than usual. Successfully docked. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. Connection to local trading network established. Here in the equipment dock, if I'd be really desperate for money, I could sell the uh, five megajoule shield from this uh, from this trading ship. Ladies and gentlemen, station administration would like to. But I don't need to do that now. However, I do want to uh, buy as much engine tuning as well to make this ship as fast as possible. It won't be very fast even with this, this but uh, it will be will be faster. So uh, just to show, right now the ship flies at 75 and when I upgrade it, it will fly at uh, 100. So let's buy maximum that costs 10,000. Engine tuning installed. Putting, putting that, uh, gained recognition. putting that money from the 
money from the ore into good use. We will also buy rudder optimization so the ship will align faster. Rudder optimization installed. And boost extension so that the ship accelerates faster. Boost at, extension. At this moment, installed. because I will be controlling this this ship uh, remotely, I won't buy a duplex scanner in it, and I don't need any uh, any trade trade systems in it because it already has Mark One. I. I might buy buy those later, but I don't need them right now. Right now, let's jump into the discoverer. Now I'm in the in the discoverer, and here I can uh, well. First of all, I can buy into the ship I'm in Incoming message. a trade system extension. Trading system extension. And now, if I look at the sector map and open this uh, these stations that I see, I can see the numeric stock, and I can see the price they are paying or. Buying which. Attention, security. We got a seven zero seven on level six in the park. However, I also want a duplex scanner in this ship. Duplex scanner installed. So I can explore better. But then this uh, this nineteen thousand I need to need to keep for now. Let's see how much if I get some engine upgrades. Thirteen thousand. Mm. Yeah, let's get let's get some. It'll it'll speed up me so much that it's it'll help. Engine tuning installed. Right, all these purchases, even that I'm buying them into use and not trading, they are affecting my uh, pilot status and uh, increasing my. Uh, trading rank and my reputation so I'm already Argon Federation member right now let's uh, let's undock and this ship will fly at 197 at the moment plus I have a much larger scanner and I can control my uh, control my um, mercury remotely and since I'm using it as a remote ship, I will uh, rename it. Uh, I like to call remote traders, remote trader, RT, number them. And then I also like to keep the, keep the ship type, ship type and name in the, in the ship name. And my own ship. Adding a space in front uh, sorts the ship on top. I call it my, and this ship is uh, M5 Disco. Now I've already already explored something here, so let's see if there's some quick opportunities here. I'm looking at meat steak kahunas. At over over 72, which is the average price. Yes, indeed, the light weapon complex is paying that much. So let's get the Mercury command. Let's put the notifications on. Navigation dock at Docking trading ready. station. Command accepted. You can also fly uh, by clicking in the map. And as I gave that order to my remote trader, uh, Mercury, it is now flying in the Argon, Argon trading station, which is, uh, as said, always buying and selling on the average price. So there are meat steak kahunas there at 72. And hopefully no one else gets there before me, so I can sell them here at Light Weapon Complex for at least 97. As I'm exploring, I'm seeing other stations here. Now the ammunition factory came into my radar. They don't need meat sake kahunas, but they do need ore. So I might actually want to get my uh, trading ship and fly back into Heron's Nebula and buy some ore. I might 
be able to do that before any NPCs. Alright, let's uh, use the setup to speed up things a bit. Now there's quantum tube fab, which is also needing ore. Not that much meat steak kahunas. Energy cells I will be trading later. Let's see what mission is here. You are talking to the automated interaction system. What do you wish to speak of? Hello. I believe this is a Boron race, but I'm not sure. You got a job for me? Just in time. Excellent. I have something to which your skills could be applied. I need a ship untainted by one such as you. Okay, I, I won't be transporting you anymore. You are talking to the automated interaction system. Let us speak of profit. Okay. I'm not completely sure, but this fellow might be a Telari. He is selling uh, sector maps, but I don't have money for things like that just now. Buying a, buying a sector map would give me some details on the sector without me exploring them myself. And it can it can save quite a bit of time as uh, that at least gives uh, the Stargate locations. When exploring a place, we can see that uh, See on the map kind of the flow of traffic as the other ships are flying, as long as they are in my scanner range. So I can estimate that uh, now, now I see the gate already and I see it visually, but I could estimate with the flow of traffic that uh, there's probably a gate here or at least a station. That comes very handy in sectors where the visibility is not as good as here. Incoming message. Right, there in the map I saw that the Mercury was about to land in the station and now I got the notification for it. Here is a message that I should go to a place called Omicron Lurai to uh, kind of start the, start the main plot for this start, the humble merchant, but uh, I won't do that. We will get into that uh, much later in this let's play. Right, here is my Mercury. I can remotely trade and buy meat steak kahunas before that I will make sure that I can sell them at least it looks now that I would be able to sell them at least in two locations so it's good to buy because this is my only only money I have now I I want to make sure that I meat steak kahuna use it right okay and then command it to dock at the light weapons Dark complex which was paying 97 for the meat steak kahunas. Okay. When I get to about 100,000 credits, I will get an upgrade for the trading ship for uh, best buys and best sales price locators and then I don't need to check every station manually for the prices I can with one key get uh, best prices in the sector and I like how that works in this game because uh, you don't uh, you don't get those um, like automatically if I if I don't have the upgrade in my ship then I don't have that ability and uh, on the other hand when I when I pay for it, it kind of feels that uh, uh, it's uh, it's not just game that gives me that ability, but I have to kind of do it in this uh, in this universe. I'm going through the gate into the other sector. Which, the wall. which reminded me I forgot to turn off the warp tunnels, we really don't need to see those yet. Uh, I came here because this sector has two, two solar, solar panels in them, Alpha. producing energy cells which are needed solar by power plant. M almost, almost every station. Uh, they are uh, about half stock now, so... Uh, 
but uh, it is important for me to explore these regions with the, this uh, scout ship, so then my uh, trade ship can remotely be controlled into these sectors. At the same time, I'm here. The, the Mercury is flying in the in the Argon Prime sector, and uh, I can still see the prices there because I have that ship there, and uh, I'll be able to remotely remotely do uh, all those all those trades I need. And in a new sector, I want to explore it. Again, I'm following the float of traffic. Incoming message. That probably means that the Mercury has docked. Yes, and we were able to sell the meat steak kahunas, meat steak kahunas in 1997. I think there were some more in the, in the trading station, so let's utilize that opportunity. Docking granted. Command accepted. Let's make sure of that. Yeah, they still have still have meat steak kahunas. Then uh, if I look at Heron's Nebula, which is a sector I don't have a ship in, or later in the game a satellite, uh, I don't see anything about the stock information or the prices. But I can I can see the stations because I have them in my in my map. Also, uh, this, um, these uh, sectors are not necessarily in one one flat flat area. If I look at the sector map and change the axis, looking at the sector from the side, I can see that the sectors can be can be like uh, on top of each other and not just filling filling up the whole uh, 3D space. Sometimes some sectors are very low in the in the uh, from the Y zero, the flat flat plane, but uh, most most sectors are relatively easily explored. I've noticed. Right here, I don't see any traffic, so I don't think this sector has a gate to the east. Also, I don't see anything like that in the in that part of the area. So uh, this sector only has three gates. I can see the see the one here. Incoming message. The Mercury has docked at the trading station, so I will again uh, double check that I can still sell the Kahunas. At least three places are paying more than average, which is what I wanted to see. So let's buy as many, much as we can. And fly back to the light weapons Docking complex. Granted. Command accepted. Autopilot off. We have explored most of this sector now. So I will fly. We are scanned. We scanned your ship and did not find any illegal goods aboard. Thanks okay. for your cooperation. You are welcome. I will fly into the president's end. Let's talk to You are talking to the station. automated interaction system. There's Make a, your request. There's a build mission which are out of my league for now, and there's combat mission uh, which I won't be doing right now. There are no other missions here at the moment. Now, early, early in the game, this is the kind of, uh, kind of things I will be doing, uh, flying in my disco. Uh, to various sectors, exploring them, and then um, 
using using my Mercury remotely to do the trading Entering for system. me. Presidents in autopilot off. And I will be doing this until I build up enough money to upgrade the ships. Eventually I will buy more ships. Uh, eventually I can hire pilots to fly the ships for me to do the trading for me instead of me doing it manually. Meat steak kahunas sold. Now I think I will take the trader and fly to Heron's Command Nebula accepted. and see if I can buy some cheap ore because I still see several of the stations low on ore here in uh, Argon Prime. Yeah. So hopefully I'll be able to buy some ore from Heron's Nebula and trade that. This uh, president's end is an interesting interesting sector. As, uh, as far as I've seen it doesn't have any stations in them. I believe it's also called the graveyard. Uh, and there's, there's history for each sector when you look at it in the map. You can see what race it is. This is an Argon, Argon sector and there's a history history of the place. I will be looking into those uh, at some moment, but uh, uh, but right now I want to I want to focus on uh, getting getting uh, the bank account filled a bit more and then uh, then start looking into the universe. Because I have played played so little, I I don't know that much about the different races either. I know that uh, Argon are human, and these Boron Boron races uh, are at least uh, friendly with Argon, and uh, then uh, some of the other races are uh, in war with Argon. But uh, as long as I don't attack anything with this humble merchant beginning, I can stay quite neutral with almost almost everyone. Okay. The Mercury is in Heron's Nebula, so let's look at ore stocks. Excellent. Two two ore mines are full of ore. This is excellent. Let's uh, take the closer one which is Stop Alpha. Command accepted. Hopefully, hopefully I get there before any NPCs and can buy white ore for 50. And hopefully the prices are still high in uh, in Argon Prime. Entering system, home of light. At the beginning, I will. Uh, I will explore this, uh, what is uh, the Argon space around Argon Prime and here, and then I will expand into other areas later. This uh, area is mm, decent for trading, and uh, more importantly, it's safe for my uh, for my remote trader. This uh, home of light sector is much smaller. We can see that it's only 190 kilometers, and the grid is smaller. So with my uh, duplex scanner, I'm able to uh, scan the whole sector just by uh, taking a few turns here. This uh, Terra TerraCorp HQ is is quite important. We'll be able to. Buy the extensions I mentioned, the best buys locator and best selling price locator, and also jump drive from this place. Very useful later on. You are talking to the automated interaction system. What troubles you, pilot? You got a job for me? You show respect. You to mm. us. Ah, you are baronet. I don't want to talk to you, especially because you are looking for a taxi. You are talking to the automated interaction system. What do you wish to speak of? I'm looking for a job. Your timing you. No, I don't have a life support system, so uh, I can't really do taxi missions yet. Incoming message. Right, let's see if we can buy the ore for 50. Yes, we can, and we can 
fill up our uh, mercury as well. Now, let's first check that the high yield production complex doesn't need it. Not really, so we can fly to sector Arco Prime. Autopilot off. Now we already have enough money or more money than we need to fill up the cargo bay of the of the Mercury. So we have some money already to invest uh, into uh, ship upgrades. Uh, as long as we keep trading uh, ore or something uh, in that price range. So I probably can now buy uh, more, more engine tuning for this discoverer so I can fly faster. And then uh, after that the next next purchase will be the best buys and best sales locators. Because those, those just make the trading so much easier and convenient. Entering system, red light. And there is an equipment dock here. Just... Just when I mentioned it. Hello. You are talking to the automated interaction system. Is there something I can help you with? Maybe. I heard you're looking for help. I've got something that might interest you then. Uh, what's the job? Do you want the job? Asteroid scans. For this I need a mineral scanner which costs about 35,000 credits. I will get it, but I can't do this now. It's a, it's a good, way to, uh, good way to explore the neighboring sectors and uh, also gain some reputation. And of course some credits. Argon equipment dog. So I have about... Alright, I only have only have 5,000 now, so I do need to wait at least one trade. Need to wait for the Mercury to finish up the trade, then I have some money to invest. Incoming message. And now in this sector where we can sell the ore. Factory doesn't need it. Image recognition needs it. Light weapons needs it. Quantum tube fab is paying the best. But it's also the furthest away. Image recognition is almost next to the gate, so I will actually take that. Docking granted. Command accepted. No. What did I. Oh. Not dock my target. Silly. Command accepted. So in here, in that case, the image recognition production complex is paying 194. The quantum tube all the way on the other side of the sector map in Argon Prime is paying 203. But I would take the risk at the time it takes for my Mercury to fly in there. Some NPC trader gets there first. So. Um, I will I will take the quick quick uh, guaranteed profits for now at this moment in the game. Later I will always always go for the best possible profits and take the risk that the NPC trader gets there. Incoming message. Because still we go above 77,000 with that. Or sold. There was still more ore to be bought there, so let's fly back to Heron's Nebula. Command accepted. And see if we can Auto buy some more. Off. And here, let's go to the equipment dock. Docking granted. Autopilot get, activated. Get some ship upgrades. Autopilot off. I don't want to bump into an asteroid just now, <laughs> as I haven't been able to save in a while. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. And all 
also as I dock in here, I will end this first part of the Let's Play X Free Terran Conflict and continue next time. It'll be more of the same, more exploring, more trading, and uh, until we get enough money to buy Incoming message. a new ship. Uh, this will be what I will be doing. There will, I will start doing those missions probably in the next one. Is there still ore? Yes, there is ore for cheap. Docking granted. Command accepted. Successfully docked. On behalf of our President and Senator, the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. Connection to local trading network established. Products are not bought. Maximum engine tuning is 30,000. Hmm. Yeah, I will, I will get it. It's be worth it. Engine tuning installed. Because now, now my disco flies at 346 meters per second, uh, helping helping me to explore the sectors much faster and also get through the missions. I will eventually get uh, actually actually be able to do those. But anyway, this was the first part. Uh, we have now 47,000. The remote trader is on its way, hopefully to buy some ore for cheap. I have my disco uh, engine engine tuned, and uh, we have already already explored uh, explored some sectors here. And I will fill up the circle around Argon Prime and move on from there. Right. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.